So I made this badass lightsaber in Unity and I wanted to figure out how to use it to slap it up. For this, I had to figure out how Unity deals with mesh data. According to their documentation, most shapes are made up of triangles. Other topologies are supported, but I figured I'd just deal with the common case. Triangles are drawn by supplying the mesh object with vertex data and then referencing these vertices in groups of three. The mesh object also keeps track of normal and UV data for each vertex, which helps with calculating lighting and texture coordinate mapping. Now, to slice this triangle, I needed a way to tell which vertex was on which side of the slice. After digging around a bit, I came across planes, which Unity defines as an infinitely large surface. Nobody cares! Basically, it's a giant quad pointing in a direction that I defined with a method telling me if a vertex is on the same side that it's pointing at or not. To draw my plane, I kept track of the tip and the base of the blade on trigger enter and the tip of the blade on trigger exit. Computing the cross product of these three points gave me a point perpendicular, which I used for the direction of the plane. I needed to transform these points to local space as well. Now, for every triangle in the mesh, I had to make some decisions. The goal was to create two new meshes. One mesh for everything on the positive side of the plane and one for everything on the negative side of the plane. Scenario 1, all vertices for the current triangle are on the same side of the plane. I checked which side that was and added all the vertices, UV and normal data accordingly. Scenario 2, vertex 1 and 2 are on the same side. An intersection occurred. By casting a ray from vertex 2 to vertex 3, I was able to determine the point at which the ray intersects the plane, giving me intersection point 1. Then casting a ray from vertex 3 to vertex 1 gave me my second intersection point. During the ray casting process, I also interpolated the UV information. On side 1, I created two triangles, first from vertex 1 to vertex 2 to intersection 1, then from vertex 1 to intersection 1 and intersection 2. On side 2, I added a triangle from intersection point 1 to vertex 3 to intersection point 2. It was important to keep the winding direction the same so that the triangles were facing the right way. I applied similar logic when vertex 1 and 3 were on the same side and when vertex 1 was alone. I also made sure to keep track of any intersection points that were added because if the object is solid we can use these to create some triangles and make it look solid. What's that? I feel empty inside! Using the points of intersection along the plane, I was able to determine a center point that I could use to fill the object with the triangles. I feel not empty inside. So just add the lightsaber, then add the object I want to slice, position it correctly, Oop, and add the script to make it sliceable. Hit play and watch the magic happen. Hit play and watch the magic happen. <laughs> Call me Luke, bitches. You can find all the code in the GitHub repo that will be linked in the description of this video. But as a quick overview, in the code that controls the lightsaber is where I have the on trigger, enter, and exit methods which help us draw our plane. I have a slicer class with a static slice method inside of it that we can call whenever we want to slice an object by passing it a plane and a game object, along with some other details about the object we want to slice. These details come from a class called sliceable, which every sliceable game object needs to have in order to be sliced. Finally, the slices metadata class is the class with all the complex logic in it, which takes the information we just spoke about in and spits out two game objects, uh, one on the positive and one on the negative side of the plane. There are some minor issues I've noticed with the second cut specifically, which I may or may not fix. I think I've learned what I set out to learn, and I hope some of you learn something from watching this too. I'll catch you on the next one.